A few magazines have asked me to do chile rellenos and you've been waiting for weeks so today I'm making chile rellenos. Last week, we learned how to make orange plum tomato salsa, and this week, we're gonna pour it over chiles rellenos stuffed with toasted almonds and cheese. These are chili poblanos. Because they are mild and large in size, they are widely used for stuffing. We're gonna brush the chilies with vegetable oil. Once in the oven, they'll blister and darken until entirely blackened. The vegetable oil will help them blister more evenly. Next, place the chilies in a plastic bag so they steam. This will help loosen the skin. Then you'll see you can easily peel off the charred skin. This is actually one of my favorite things to do. Next, make an incision right through the middle of the pepper and rip off the seeds along with the white veins. Did you know that almonds and cheese have a strong flavor affinity for one another? We're going to chop up some almonds and toast them. Now, we'll stuff our peppers with some shredded Monterey Jack and our toasted almonds. As an alternative, Try stuffing the peppers with picadillo, which I made on a previous episode. To keep the mixture nicely snug inside the pepper, I'm going to sew it together by using a toothpick. We're going to make an egg batter. Separate the eggs, whites into a clean bowl, and yolks into another bowl. Add the egg whites into a large bowl and beat with an electric mixer at medium speed until they're just stiff enough to hold a peak. Gently beaten the yolks one at a time. Heat oil to 375 degrees. Test heat with a droplet of egg batter. If it bubbles, it's ready. So this part freaks me out a little bit because I'm always afraid I'm going to mess up my pepper. You're going to gently handle it by dropping the chili into the egg batter, then right into the oil. Let me know what you like in your chile rellenos. Leave me a comment and subscribe.